If you're looking for an SEO tool that's easy to use, affordable, and can help you with your most common SEO tasks, I want to introduce you to a browser add-on called SEO Minion. This is a top SEO tool for beginners, and in this video, I'm going to show you how it works. So let's get started. So SEO Minion is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome and for Firefox. Now, this is an SEO tool that you can use for all of your daily SEO tasks. It's essentially an all-in-one SEO browser add-on. You can analyze your on-page SEO, check broken links. You can also check your Google rankings for your website across multiple locations, check redirects. It even has a SERP preview tool and an hreflang checker. Now, you can use SEO Minion inside the Google SERPs. So let me show you how that works. So whenever Whenever you do a Google search, you'll see this SEO Minion widget on the right hand side. This will show you all of the SERP features that are displaying on this page for your given search term. It automatically calculates each SERP feature. There are nine organic results. There is four ad results and you can see them right here. There is eight product listings. There is three local listings and you can see the map pack over here. There's also 10 image listings as well. So this helps you determine what Google is preferring to show for any given search query. You can also download this data as well. So if you click on this dropdown, you can either download it as a CSV or copy the information. And for this second dropdown, you can select exactly what type of SERP features you want to download. So let's just say, for example, I want to download all organic results. So I'm going to click on that and click on go. Okay, so I saved it on my computer and you can see this CSV file right here of all the organic search results. There are a total of nine, which we did see over here. So there are nine organic search results. So you can see the URL, the page title, and also the meta description for each one as well. So this is a great way you can do competitive analysis. Let's take a look at another search term. So I searched for Google Bard and you can see the SERP features are drastically different. There is one video listing, three fresh listings, which are listings that were recently published, and also five news listings and three FAQ data. Now, if you are trying to figure out what types of topics to write about for your search term, what I like to do is click on this dropdown and click on PAA, which stands for People Also Ask, and SEO Minion will download up to two levels of the people also ask feature. So I'm gonna click on that and click on go. Okay, so I saved it onto my computer and you can see SEO Minion crawled the people also ask section and provided us all of this data. So you can see the people also ask title, the parent, the text, the URL, and also the URL title. You can also click on the view people also ask tree. Now you can view it in this nice tree format and you can see there's two levels here. You can zoom in and see all the questions on the first level and second level. And if you hover over each node, you can view the title, the text, and also the URL. So this is a great way to visualize how each question and topic relates to one another and gives you more information as to what types of pages you can write about on your website. Now you can use SEO Minion on any website page as well. So I'm going to open up this web page. And if you click on the SEO Minion Chrome extension, it'll open up this panel right here. So immediately you can see the status code as 200. It's indexable and it's followable. And it has an on-page SEO checker. So you can click on this. You can view the URL of the page, the title tag. It also counts the characters the meta description, the canonical URL, and also the meta robots. You can also see all of the headings on the page and the type of heading. And if you wanna to jump to a specific heading, just click on this light bulb icon and it'll jump to that specific heading. It even counts the number of images that are on the page. You can download them. It even shows you how many images are without alt text. You can also see the open graph tags as well. Now let me go back. You can also highlight all links. You can also check broken links. As you can see, there were 113 total links 95 were valid and there were three redirects. And if you scroll down, you could view those three redirects right here. There's also an hreflang checker that you can use to make sure your hreflang tags are properly implemented. I'm gonna to go to the Adidas men's category page. You can see all the different languages they implemented, including the URLs. So this is a great way you can quickly see if all of your hreflang tags are properly implemented. You can also check the HTML code versus the DOM. So you can see if there are any differences between the HTML version versus the DOM. So you can see there's the same title tag, description, but different headings. And you can see the entire code right here. So this is the entire HTML code, the DOM, and you can see the differences. 
There's also a SERP preview. This is a great way to see how your organic listing will look like in the Google SERPs. So you can type in your search query. I typed in Google Bard, and this is a title, description, the URL. You can also add a date and rich snippet, and here you go. So now you can easily see how your organic listing will look like according to what information you added in these form fields. And you can update it in real time as well. So ChatGPT4, I added it there, and you can see it's updated in this preview. There's also the SERP location checker. You can choose from different countries and languages. You can add your search query and highlight domain URLs and click on execute search. So this is a great way to see where exactly you rank according to various locations. Let's type in google.com and click on execute search again. So this is highlighted in red. You can also compare different locations. So if you click on this, type in your search query, you can also add specific domains or URLs you want to highlight, then click on execute search. Okay, so these are the rankings for the UK and the United States on the right hand side. Let me change the domain. Click on execute search. Okay, so for tech.co, you can see it's ranking number four in the United Kingdom and number three in the United States. Okay, so those were the main features of SEO Minion. It's an excellent SEO tool that will basically follow you wherever you go on the internet. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.